Yo. We're doing Merry Vlogmas. For the Merry rest Vlogmas. of the month, we're going to vlog every day. We're seven days late, but you know, that's how we roll. Hey, eat shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just got my laptop fixed. Haven't been able to put anything on YouTube because my laptop froze up. And now we're walking around some yuppie-ass quarter in Scottsdale or something. Like fucking doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. We're dealing with some fun. But we're going to do this every day till the end of Christmas. We follow this dude on YouTube, TJ Hunt. If you don't, you probably should. He's dope. He does a lot of cool car shit. And he, we he sold... just bought a Harley TJ. If you, if you oh, see this. nice. We're the people to talk so, to. Yeah. But uh, I tried blowing him up on Instagram too. Got nothing. <laughs> Cocksucker. <laughs> Opportunities missed. Yep. <laughs> but yo, we're gonna try and keep up on this, and uh, that's it. And go check out TJ Hunt because we stole the idea from him. He's dope. Fucking gun holster fucking broke on me. Walking around and yuppie. Oh, oh no! The other one. <laughs> oh, come on, more of it just fell apart. Jesus Christ! Working chips. Loctite, man. Oh fuck, I guess. But yeah, we're walking through like we're in straight Yuppingtonville right now to go to the Apple Store because the only place the Apple stores are is where yuppies hang out. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> we're in the what is this? Scottsdale Quarter. Scottsdale Quarter. If you don't know what it is, look it up. It's fucking yuppie land. Mm -hmm. Lots of Porsches and shit everywhere. Mm -hmm. so we did my, have a fine waitress, though. So as we're walking around, my goddamn gun holster falls apart, and like pieces of it are falling on the ground. I'm like, oh! <laughs> Picking shit up off the ground. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Just dropped my change. Don't worry about it. Fuck, I hope I can find the shit. Come on. No. Yes got pieces here come on baby so i'm gonna finger this thing i'm gonna finger blast this son of a bitch back together right now it's not nighttime we're hiding in a parking garage in yuppingtonville come on baby i have to get some tools i gotta cover your ass i think is what this is cya holster had it forever it's old you know and like it fell apart because it's just a piece of shit it's old got a lot of use out of it yeah. yep there we go. And we're off to Copart. Or... Yeah, motherfucker! I'm not gonna carry that the rest of the day because I'm gonna end up dropping it. It's probably gonna be the one time I end up in a shootout in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker, I got nowhere to put it either. But anyways, ah, I just got my laptop fixed. Froze up. Looking at too much bestiality porn. And uh, actually I was downloading a video and the thing completely froze so i'd take it to the apple store and get it fixed but now we're gonna go are we going to copart where is copart it's pretty far is it far yeah I mean, do we have that much time in the day uh, i mean yeah it's noon on wednesday right yep wednesday what the ninth seventh pearl harbor oh, anniversary shit. of pearl harbor mm -hmm. that's right anniversary go out think of it that's what you should do today um these are probably going to be a day late, too, because I'm going to upload them the next morning because I got, you know, a wife and kids to go home, too, and I ain't going to sit around and edit YouTube videos for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I do that shit at, like, 5 a.m. I actually go to the gym at 5 a.m., and then 7 a.m. I work on YouTube videos till 9 o'clock till the shop opens. And then I work on motorcycles till 5 or 6 o'clock and then go home and work on being a family person. I ain't very good at that. Well, yeah, we need to get the fuck out of here. My signal is horrible. Um, no signal in this fucking place. That's it. If we go to Copart, we'll check back in and show you what's going on there. We're going to look for some fucking whips to buy and yeah. have some fun with. Maybe make some fucking funny videos with them. Maybe get some videos. And I kind of want to see if I can find like a salvage title diesel that I can buy and then maybe sell my dogs so I don't have a thousand dollar a month fucking truck payment because it's stupid. I love this truck though, but... I mean, come on, not having a truck payment's way cooler. Way fucking cooler. Word. Yep, bye!
We're gonna vlog every day for the month of November, or uh, whatever month this is. I don't know what month this is. December. Vlogging. It's uh. What the fuck do we call this? Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Vlog. <laughs> very vlog. Very vlogmas. Matt's polishing up the pipe for the old green beast over there. That guy. We just got back from Copart. That was a fucking waste of a trip. I'm tired, man. Yeah, it's all that driving. There's a trike we're not going to build and we're not going to do anything with, so don't even ask. <laughs> Trikes are fucking lame. I'm going to do some computer work. Piss jugs, ready to go. The problems I have, the same everything. It's unreal. Well, you're in Taylor's company. Uh, I think I mentioned to you, Elon Musk. Yeah. Uh, had the same surgery. Uh, Gabe and I had the same surgery. Uh, it's unfortunately, the average age is 51. Yeah, I'd be yeah. into it then, huh? <laughs> yeah, the, well, for it to happen, for it to start, does it make sense? Yeah. So you are a bit earlier than the average, um, but it's probably because of the amount of uh, physical activity you do. Yeah, yeah. It, it, my neck's taking a lot of beatings over the years. That's for sure. Yeah. So you are younger than the average, and it's probably because of the amount of physical physical activity you do. Um, the average age is fifty-one. That's for like uh, that's an average, right? So I, I should be good to go for another 51 years though, huh? Well, we've definitely got 15 year data. Uh, yeah? So, you know, that's... Our machinist, well, our machinist had his... They, they don't, we didn't lose any people to follow up after 10 years. They moved or... You know, I, yeah. Our machinist was in on the... Our machinist was on the was in a trial for 15 years ago for a disc replacement, and he's like 15 years into it right now, and he says he still feels amazing. Yeah, so that's that's, that's the data. You know, it's been around in Germany and South Korea for a long time. Um, so the the data is very encouraging. So I'm I'm hopeful now. Unfortunately, any moving part can wear out eventually. Um, this is made from ceramic predominantly, and ceramic is very tough. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, I think it's the best, I think, well, yeah, I know it's the best one available you have. Um, the other one, Metroid one, I like, but this is one you know is better. Um, so, I'm optimistic for the long term. Excellent. I'm excited. I can't believe how small they were when I had the one in person when we made the video. I. I I did not think that my disc replacement would be that tiny. I thought it would be like the size of a silver dollar or something at least. The biggest problem we have actually is that either they're the female, they're often too big. Really? So if you, you know, I had a gymnast recently, she was very small. Uh, she was about early 40s, but kind of same as you, you know, she was a competitive gymnast, so she put her body to a lot of stress. Uh, I actually heard mother of the surgery is the exact same age, so the mixture of genes and environment, but um, the impact just fit it, it was almost too big. Wow. And then we have the other side is sometimes in big males, they'll be too small, so it's kind of, it's, it's tough, you know? Uh, so, so the spine really is a lot smaller than I think it is, huh? At least the, the gaps between the bones are, yeah. It's wild. I can't believe how much better I feel after so many years of so much pain and to just be, I, I, I woke up from surgery pain free. Continually being rolled, right? Yeah. Yeah, it feels good now. It, it's, I'm pretty thankful. <laughs> you, you changed my life, that's for sure. You're in your great. I'm glad you're doing well. I wish everyone was as thick and healthy as you. Um, <laughs> it's just, you know, your shock absorber and the engine mount wore down until it was time to it. Yeah, yeah most, it was definitely wore down. Yeah. It was amazing. I, I had my neck, like the, the cut, like the actual incision, that stuff was sore for like a week and a half or so, but since then I've pretty much been pain-free. 
there's nothing in the front of the neck. Yeah. Uh, there's, we don't cut any tissue. We just cut your skin. So you get pain from the, from the skin. Does it make sense? Yeah. So we don't cut any muscle or anything. So once the skin heals up after a week or two, most people feel pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty unreal. My triceps coming back, like all my muscles on my left side are coming back. Everything is all coming back together. It's nice. Yeah, that'll take 18 months for it to fully heal in the nerve. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah, I, yeah. one dirt bike rider actually crashed his motorbike and he had a spinal injury. So he, I said, you know, a millimeter per day. Yeah. So uh, next time he's in clinic, he said, I'm way better is I can't remember what the distance was, but he measured his arm uh, and told me exactly how long it would take him, it take him to get better. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I feel like it's leaps and bounds now because I, have, I haven't felt my left tricep in five years almost. So to be able to feel it and it to function and, and to move is pretty amazing. Super. Well, uh, congratulations. I'm glad you're doing really well. You're going to continue to get better and better and better. And we will talk again one year post-talk, which will be uh, May of next year with x rays Okay, sounds good. I look forward to it. Well done, Ryan. You're very tall and fit. I'm glad you're doing well. <laughs> Thank you so much. You position yourself well. You weren't fit and healthy. You wouldn't have done so well. Well, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing so well. Thank you so much. You really changed my life. I was in bad shape, and thank you very much. We've got a, we've got a great team here. I'll give my regards. Uh, I'll say thank you to the county too for you. Okay? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yep, have a good day. Woo! Well, that was my surgeon, Dr. Murphy. That was my second to last i guess i have one more in six months i got my x-rays i'm six months pre-op neck surgery i don't even really have a scar anymore you see that shit it's almost gone i feel phenomenal i've just been doing like what i consider kind of living like a pussy but i'm still going pretty hard for most people i believe but that seems just like the fucking release for me right there it's time to fucking turn it back on Motorcycles and Supernatural. So I spend my days day in and day out. Jake's here, dropping off some videos. I'm nervous. No. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking put me on the spot. It's yeah. uh, we got a bunch of videos. Jake drops off videos. We download them, all that good stuff. Yep. Yeah. Four of them. Film, film Mondays and Tuesdays, and then usually Wednesdays, Thursdays, Friday. I'm editing and stuff, and then pop back through. Usually on a Thursday, <laughs> drop them off and stuff. And we fucking load them all to YouTube, which yeah. is a hell of a process. I had to spend half a day at the Apple store this morning getting the fucking computer fixed from the last download I did. <laughs> Might have been back a... up and running. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking back. Downloading videos, more shit coming at you. Hell yeah. Well, it's the end of the day of my Vlogmas, and I'm home with the wife. We're eating tacos. And I'm trying to figure out all this goddamn medication that the doctor just gave me I'm supposed to take. It's a bunch of fancy stuff to make me a superhuman. Yeah. But that's the end of the day. See you guys tomorrow.